Well, hello, Brenda. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. So nice to meet you too. Thanks for your time. No, of course. Uh, I guess I'm going to say also happy belated birthday. <gasps> Thank you. I just turned <laughs> 24, which I think is one of the most awkward ages. It's always awkward. Uh, I'm in my 30s. It's always going to be awkward in life, I think. <laughs> That's life in I know. Shadow. After 21, I think the ages just start to get sadder and sadder, but... <laughs> I have to be reminded by my fiance how old I am. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm already at that age. <laughs> Sadly. Uh, but I am super grateful that PD let me see this great new horror short film adjoining uh, such an entertaining 11 minutes. It kept my attention all the way through, which is most feature films struggle with that. You know, full, full feature length films don't do those these days. And it also made me squirm a bit. Um, but what a great short film. Super excited for all y'all. Thank you. We're really excited too. We loved playing around with the different colors of it because there's so many genres of horror, psychological thriller to, you know, to the gore, to the kind of campy, more uppy horror. And so we kind of played around with all of those. And, you know, it was really fun, I think, uh, the outcome of it. Have you always been a big fan of this genre? I've always loved it. I've always talked about um, when I was little, my best friend, Kyle, who is still my, you know, one of my best friends, we would always go on my basement uh, of my house, turn off all the lights and just put on any horror movie. Sometimes they would be, you know, the campiest, um, uh, most gory, fun ones. And then we'd watch psychological thrillers, the ones that make you think. And I think we just had so much fun and it was like a little ritual. So I think since an early age, I was always in love with horror. Yeah. Can you name, you know, a, a classic that you absolutely love that you love watching? We're in October now. So like, what's your go tos? Uh, I love. I love the Halloween uh, franchise. I think that's incredible because um, Michael Myers is just I love him. Um, hate him. Hate to love him. Um, but I think one of my recent favorites has to be i just saw this so that's a classic but the new one is L don't let go oh my goodness it was incredible i love horror that incorporates so much symbolism um to something else and it's not just right out in front of you where you where you can see it it makes you think um so i love like killing of a sacred deer um i love i love movies like that and, you know, the genre has so many types of films, may it be like the big movies, the smaller movies. And then you have a short film like this, which, you know, yeah. I, I get scared. I'm not going to lie. Horror. I like I love the Halloween films. I'll watch that anytime it's in theater. That's probably the only horror film that gets me in the theaters uh, mm. for whatever reason. But I hate them because I get scared. <laughs> they give me nightmares. <laughs> uh, but this this short film, I mean, really got solid and it seemed like an actual like feature film. The quality of it, you know, most short films look like they're you know, college projects, to be honest, sometimes. But this film, I was like, you know, I didn't see this on a bigger screen. Like, this looks like so cinematic, which I love. I don't want to give too much away on the plot because I think it's very important that people go in blindly. But what can you say about the story that's being told in this short? I think the reason that it's um, so entertaining because, you know, when we started, you have to realize we only have 11 minutes for a short. So there were so many different ways we could have played it. We could have played it super grounded and super, you know, um, uh, quiet and, and, and eventful, but we had so many cool aspects of kind of modernizing it um, to keep it entertaining, to keep it uh, with that up energy. So I think all the little twists and turns and, and uh, the, the big little twist or the entertainment aspect of it for sure. Even the beginning, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but some of the beginning shots of what's coming through the wall, all like that just, I just loved it. There's all these little details that I really enjoyed. And I thought the team behind it and all y'all did such a great job. What do you love most about shooting short films? Cause this is not your first one. No, it's not. I think what I love most about shooting short films is the intimate um, aspect that you get to have with your crew, with your cast, with your producers, with your writers. Um, and, you know, sometimes we don't get that on a full length feature. Um, I mean, most of the time you don't get, you know, to to really talk to everybody about their vision and how they're it's aligning with yours and the collaboration aspect of it. So when we have a short, it's like, oh, we get that privilege of really knowing where everybody's brains are at. And then you all come together and you make something that you all like. It's it's uh, it's very cool. And it's definitely a privilege. No, a great group behind this. Adjoining is premiering at Screamfest in L.A., which is a major event for horror. What does it mean to have your film debut at such an iconic festival? I'm super excited for all of y'all. 
Oh, I think it's uh, it's still pretty surreal. Um, it's the first short film that I've produced. Um, it's the first thing that I have produced. Um, producing has been uh, something that I've really wanted to do for a very long time. And now since that, I've, I'm now producing two more projects. Um, and uh, just being able to be in something and also be behind the scenes of it and have it be somewhere, you know, getting into amazing festivals and then scream fast. I'm just like, oh, very grateful. It's very, uh, very, very exciting for all of us. No, I'm super excited. You know, Dakota told me about this. PD told me about this. And so like, it's, you know, y'all are all extension of my family. So, you know, I love seeing this journey for y'all. Uh, can you talk about the team behind that? You know, talk about the writers, the directors, the cast, you know, uh, how is it on yeah. set? I'm sure y'all are just, a, it's a family now pretty much after doing this great accomplishment. Yeah, it for sure is. When Petey first came to me and he was like, what do you think? And I was like, I love this. Of course, I want to be a part of it. How fun. Um, and it was fun. I think um, the vibe of set was so comfortable and we all um, felt like we could speak our minds just because we were such in communication in the pre-production. And, um, you know, I, I knew Carter Glade, who plays my opposite and who plays Benjamin uh, for quite some time. And it was just so nice because you know, you are working with people that you have known for years and then you haven't. So that blend kind of makes the other ones that you haven't known for years feel like you have. Yeah. I mean, I was so excited to, to hear about this and I was like, come on, get me on on this. I need to see this. I'm not going to make it a scream fest. <laughs> I am stuck here in Texas, but, um, you know, scream fest is such a great opportunity for all the other shine, but something like this, are there hopes that the short film could work as a concept for an actual feature length film? Because it made me wanting more. There's, you know, I'm not trying to give any of the bot away, but there's something there that I really loved. And I think there's something we made out of it, to be honest, more than just a short film. Thank you. I mean, selfishly, as an actor and a creative, I'm like, ooh, what happens and what is more of the story behind Ben and Millie and how did they come to their jobs career wise? And um, and I think seeing more of um, Chloe's character, too, and, and, and diving more into voyeurism as well. I think it could be a very cool concept for a feature. Absolutely. No, it definitely works. Uh, there's stories that can be told before what we see and after what we see. That's the beauty right. of adjoining. Uh, I can't wait to see all these reactions from Scream Fest. Uh, you know, what is next for you as well? Um, I have a couple projects that are um, in very early stage development right now. Um but they're great projects. They're indies. And that's what I'm really passionate about. I'm obsessed with doing indies um, because just like I said, the intimacy and um, creative control and collaboration that you get to have is just so special. Um, so I have a couple of things going on in that area and also producing a feature film as well. So I'm excited for it. That's super exciting, super talented, super young as well. So you have a lot ahead of you, but adjoining is going to turn people's heads upside down at ScreenFest. And I hope we get to catch up soon because I want to hear what all the reactions was in the theater when this plays. And uh, yeah, I'll probably i going to rewatch it again, to be honest, because it's the perfect thing to kind of get you into spooky season, I guess you can call it. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. Thanks, Brett. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sean.